All right. <laughs> I keep getting sneezing spells and having to start over. Okay. Hey, Scorpio, it's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with you guys, mid-February Valentine's messages from your sweetheart, whoever is most on your mind, you guys, um, that's, what, that's who this will be about, okay, you guys? All right, so um, we're just going to get any messages that, you know, whatever they they too shy to say, pretty much. Whether this is somebody that you haven't been in communication with because maybe you guys are on a break or a separation, you know, and they really yearning to, to um, uh, reach out to you or vice versa. Or this can definitely be like a secret admirer if you just completely single, okay? All right, so let's hop right in, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button. Plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now let's hop straight into our Valentine's message video. Okay, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for the astrological sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for mid-month of February, Spirit, for these Valentine's messages for their romantic interest, Spirit. All right, what is it that Scorpio's love interest wants to convey to them? What messages do they want to give them? Messages of love, spirit, adventures. Maybe they dream on really taking a vacation. Hold on, guys, because these cards, like the background is white, so they get pretty bleached out. But they have adventures here, and I just see a lot of... Uh, color you know we have the water here it's like every almost every element you know um it's like maybe this is how they see you maybe this is what they want to show you you know maybe they want to like take you on a vacation somewhere nice maybe they've been this place before or you know maybe they want to experience this for the first time with you but they want to go up on adventures with you um maybe they see you as moving in a positive direction because i just parted the deck and got change here okay what other messages but maybe you just really a fun person to them um, shoot, some of y'all Scorpios can be dating a Sagittarius because I don't know. When I think about Sagittarius, I just think about adventurous. So, um, be that as it may, maybe you guys are interested in the same things or maybe this person just want to get you out your comfort zone and take you to do some things that they feel is really fun and adventurous because maybe they see you as the perfect type to be open-minded to some of the things that they want to show you in life, you know? Okay, so let's get a couple of more for, we keep getting illumination. So I see that it's a lot of connections out here that are really shining light on, you know, the potentials of their romantic partner, their romantic interests. Okay, so let's see. Illumination, it wanted to come out, y'all. This is, I did three readings and this came out on all three. So Scorpio, again, maybe it's a lot of dynamics that are coming into union. That is like a teacher-student dynamic where you basically learning a lesson or teaching a lesson in a situation as it pertains to, you know, your love interest. So, you know, you could be the person that is the teacher or you could be the student in this situation or it can be vice versa. Maybe you are waking this person spiritually and maybe they are like bringing life to your life by showing you different corners of the world that you have never seen before because with adventures i definitely get that they want to travel with you and this person may be somebody that is well traveled themselves you know maybe they come from a different country or maybe they have traveled to many different countries and some of those places that they experience they actually want to recant with you okay i'm getting action damn you messing with a fire sign you gotta be because action and adventure that just screams fire for me you know or a water sign because I'm definitely getting a lot of water in every single card here. Or you got, oh, well, there you go, Scorpio. 
Oh, okay. So you guys, this is a this is a perfect mixture. I just see like sunsets. Like maybe this person wants a mirage of different experiences with you from the calm to the to the rambunctious, fun, you know, full of action type of thing here. And then in addition to that, it's like I just feel like you guys, this is a teaching dynamic you know you guys are being flexible and open-minded to a whole new world and so are they for you okay so this is definitely new territory and i feel like it's for both of you guys so let's get two more cards healing chaos that is so crazy so yeah power all right so you could be illuminating this person's power with your healing abilities here. Maybe this person has had a very tumultuous life. Um, it does seem like they're very adventurous. It seems like they on the go. I get that energy from them with adventurous action and healing chaos here. It's like you could be the calm and the storm for them here. And I feel like you illuminate this person's power to them. Maybe they didn't realize how powerful or how magnetic they really are and how much potential they really have to walk in their power if only they, you know, are to open their eyes to see that but i feel like you're illuminating that for them and um they you know basically you are a gateway sorry guys you are a gateway to a whole new life for them maybe you are somebody that's completely different and unique with them for them with this unicorn energy here you know i definitely see whites as peace as uh purity so they can see you as somebody that's peaceful and pure underneath that we have delight so yeah this person they they think highly of you which is a great thing you know what can i say okay so what are we going to use let's go ahead and use let's go ahead and use urban tarot okay all right guys so let's clarify adventures for Scorpio and how Scorpio's person feels about Scorpio. Why is adventures here? I just feel like they just want to travel the world with you. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the three of wands or the chariot or something to that extent. The page of cups here. Okay, so they definitely get like a youthful feel with you, you know, with this page of cups here, maybe this feels like puppy love or, you know, something that, and it's like all the smoke want to come this way. And it's like in cursive. I love when the smoke does that. But, um, this, this person really gets like a friend feel with you. Maybe they are getting comfortable with you, getting to know you. And you guys are in a fun beginning stages of this connection for a lot of you, Scorpio. So with the page of cups here, it's like y'all still, like I said, y'all in that fun phase, phase where you guys are still laughing, joking, and able to just explore, you know, and that's what this person is really loving. Like they have a huge vision as to how they want this to turn out or what this want, they want this to become. Let's get one more for adventure. Ooh, okay. All right, so one fill out the moon in reverse. All right. So this person is wanting to come towards you. And again, like I said, you guys could be out of uh, contact or you guys could be in contact and just recently met. But for some of you, you've been out of contact and this person wants to come back and they want to offer you, you know, a peace, peace treaty. Like basically they want to offer you a truce. They want to apologize. They want to express to you how they genuinely feel if they didn't, if they left off on a note where you didn't understand your importance in their life to a certain extent, you know? So with the illumination here, maybe it's them that's doing some illuminating here, all right? Y'all the emperor in reverse. All right, so maybe this person is coming to tell you that they have to go through some type of divorce here, Scorpio. Um, or a breakup because I am getting the emperor in reverse with the four of cups. So it's looking like um, either they telling you why they are, why they had to reject this with you, why they had to pass up on this opportunity, or they could even be telling you that they feel like uh, this was a missed opportunity for them and they could, they could be just realizing that, or this could be something that they had to pass up on because they wasn't in a place in their life where they felt like they had everything in con under control, no matter what that was. They could have just recently went through a breakup or they could have still been in a relationship, you know, and I'm getting a lot of that energy lately. 
you know, of people that's in relationships or people that's dating married people and they have no idea because that person could have been through going through a separation where they might have been living in a home where, you know, wherever you was visiting them at, maybe they didn't have, it was no trace of a spouse there. In fact, it might have been even roommates, which gave you, you know, the indication that this person was single, but you know, it could have been circumstances unbeknownst to you, you know? So why is action here? Um, I do feel like for some of you, this person can be revealing to you that, yeah, in fact, I didn't tell you, but I was, I am in the process of going through a divorce and that's why I've been so distant or that's why things have not been the same, but this person has been watching you and they feel like they are running out of time. I feel, you know, because there's this energy of them still not quite being ready. I feel like it's a lot of daydreaming going on. I feel like the action that they're taking is because they could actually be keeping an eye on you here. Okay. And with, with them keeping an eye on you, they could see you. They could see, see somebody else taking action towards you. They could see um, you moving forward. You know, especially if you guys have been out of communication for a while, there's this energy of somebody here feeling rejected. So whether it's that they're rejecting something else to come to you or you move forward from this situation because they were making you feel rejected and you feel like they was doing that on purpose, you know? Okay, so why is action here? They 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 stepped off their throne to get up and come make a move now because they realize like, okay, I'm just sitting back watching and I'm about to watch somebody that I, you know, who, who they obviously got feelings for because we got the moon in reverse here. So it's something that this person has to tell you and it is, you know, emotion based because I see the moon in reverse as re revealing secrets. And whatever it is, it's emotion attached to it. So rather it's that they're emotional because they could be going through a breakup of a long-term relationship or a divorce from a marriage that they felt was going to last forever. Or rather it's them telling you how emotional, emotional they really are about you that they never got a chance to say before they just, you know, stepped off to go and handle some unfinished business. All right, why is action here? Let's get one more. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. They could see how um, emotionally closed off you are to them. If you guys are still open to them emotionally, then maybe they can see how much it really hurt you, you know, how much it really affected you on an emotional level, what happened between you guys, you know. And they could be wanting to come and address that because they could be feeling like, okay, this is going too far. At this point, I'm getting ready to lose a friend and possibly true love if I don't you know, go after Scorpio and tell him or her, you know, any gender, um, how I really feel about them, you know, and that, yes, I left some details out about my life. And that's the reason why I kind of just dipped off the scene without saying anything, you know, why is healing chaos here? So this person is becoming single from a situation that's chaotic. There could have been something about you coming into this person's life and serving as a conduit, so to speak, to making this person realize that there's so much more to life than the situation that they were staying stuck in that they weren't really happy in, you know, because it is it's coming up as chaotic. So obviously this wasn't this was something that this person was more like settling for as opposed to genuinely happy in you know killing chaos why is this here for scorpio all right i'm getting seven of swords lion it, it was a lot of deceit here a lot of deceit a lot of low vibrational um you know activity going on probably like a lot of lying and cheating within this partnership that they leaving behind um and possibly even just self-deceit with this person feeling like this was something that they were stuck in and that they didn't have no choice but to stay in. You have a choice. When something is toxic for you, you don't have to stay in it no matter what the circumstances is. Whether it's years behind it, you know, or y'all got kids, it doesn't matter. It's not worth your sanity or your freedom to stay locked up in a situation where it's just toxic. It's too toxic for you. 
Yeah, so this person is having to take their power back because it's looking like even manipulation or even magic was being used in this situation to keep this person oppressed and burdened and taking up all, taking on all the responsibility of this connection. This person has definitely been stuck in their head mentally with the two of swords here, which is basically peace within this deck. You know, this person, I feel like the peace comes after the decision for them because or this person was avoiding making a decision to keep the peace essentially because they already knew that to get out of this situation that they've been lying to themselves about somebody got to get hurt somebody has to be rejected you know what i'm saying and maybe this is a situation where they just feel like either they outnumbered or you know where they're going to be heavily ridiculed if they um betray somebody that they've been with for a very long time here Okay, and maybe this person's not ready for that. So they trying to figure out how they can do this with the least drama attached to it as possible. Why is the filmmaker here? So this person really knows that you had a key to their heart. You know, they could feel trapped in something else here. So maybe they got to come to you as just a friend, but it's like they want to spark a conversation with you. They want to update you on what's going on in their life and be honest with you and reveal how they truly feel. Why is the moon in reverse here? You know, there's this energy of this person being stuck in a cycle. You know, there's this energy of this person feeling like this person that they can't leave behind is a soulmate and they could have that type of tie but it's like when it's over it's over i'm seeing abuse here so there definitely can be some type of abuse and that could be what the um emotional conversation is going to be about that this is a very abusive relationship whether this is a masculine energy or a feminine let's get the moon in reverse what is this that's being illuminated and revealed here, spirit, to Scorpio from their person. Change, that they want to change, that, again, you served as some type of motivation for them to want to change. I'm getting so many, I'm getting this message for every sign, I feel like. I don't know. Let's see, why is the emperor in reverse? Yeah. See, this person is feeling guilty because they feel like they involved you in something knowing that they wasn't fully ready to step towards it, you know? So they they dealing with a lot of guilt, but they do want to come and tell you that that you've been on their mind. They've been thinking about you. They've been feeling really guilty. They've been in regret and remorse, you know? And I feel like it's tough. Like this person... I feel like they are full of pride. So because they full of pride, this is not easy for them to do. For them to come towards you and like actually tell you how they feel about you in a situation and how they feel wrong and they want to take accountability. I know that seems like, okay, well, they should be doing it anyway because, you know, blah, you know, of course, yes. It's inevitable. They should be taking accountability, but I don't feel like it's an easy task. So this took a lot of effort for this person to do, to come towards you and admit that they feel, they feel like they made the wrong decision by stepping away from you or by lying to you or by leaving you out of the equation. <clears throat> so they have a queen of wands energy here and that person could even be watching too. Because on the Prince of Swords, I am getting the Queen of Wands. And that speaks to, to the other person, you know. They could be actually telling you that they're getting ready to communicate the truth to this person. That they're moving away and moving forward. Just so that they can just get it out the way. Because it's something about this person. they over it. They're over it. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Yes, they want to move towards this. And they feel led. That's the thing. They feel led by the divine. So it's inevitable. With high honor here, I always see this as the most highest energy. It's like doing what you know is right. Doing what your soul is leading you to do. And I feel like that's what their, their inner compass is leading them towards you. 
Like it's unavoidable anymore because I'm getting so many cards of like moving in a new direction, turning they back to a situation, following their inner compass to go to where their intuition is leading them to go, which ultimately is to liberate themselves from a situation in which they felt stuck and oppressed, you know, where they felt manipulated, where they felt lied to, cheated, you know stuck, indecisive, you know, uh, settling to keep the peace. And now it's like this person is going to live their life because I don't feel as though this person may be coming straight to you. They could be coming to you and offering you a friendship just because they want to, to remain in your life. They don't want something to happen to where they lose touch with you and they unable to ever speak to you again. So I feel like this person is putting you up on just so that it's not as though they vanished, even if they did. I feel like they coming back with this message to let you know. So why is the Nine of Pentacles here? So we getting a mature male. So this person feels as though they have to, number one, mature as an individual. You know, uh, they want to transform. They want positive change. They want to gain, you know, because this... This Nine of Pentacles, which is um, a card of independence, a card of singlehood. They want to become single first. They want to do the right thing and actually heal and become whole within themselves and transform themselves and mature before they come towards you. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, so really the deceit here I see is is self-deceit because I'm getting an anchor here where it's like this person was trying to ignore the fact that the person that they were currently dealing with is basically somebody that's holding them back, you know, and it does, I'm getting person because uh, I'm trying to see. It could be even a group of people. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be friends, family members, just people that's trying to hold this person back. And I feel like they seen signs of it, but they've been ignoring it and, and trying to convince themselves that they were just seeing things because, of course, you don't want to believe that people that you love the most are is trying to hold you back from your dreams and aspirations and what's going to make you truly happy in life. Okay. So why is the Magician in Reverse here? I don't like that combination. The Magician in Reverse and the Ten of Wands. That seemed like somebody just was sitting with heaviness all the time and just ignoring it, biting their tongue, you know, staying in unhappiness and like knowing. Yeah, I do feel like um, the manipulation that they put on this person would just be like the timing wasn't right because maybe it was certain milestones that was happening. You know, maybe certain things was occurring like, you know, new children being born or birthdays or holidays where this person was just manipulating your person to stay longer, you know, or when they would get into it, it would be like, you know, we got to make up for the kids or we got to make up because everybody looking at us like a shining example and expecting us to stay together for these kids or to do the right thing, you know. But this person felt burdened and oppressed by not living in their truth. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah. I'm telling you, this person, they are well, they are watching and they really want to sneak off. They want to sneak off to come and talk to you about all of this. And I feel like it is going to start with the message, you know. Yeah, this person, they, I mean, here's your energy for a lot of you, Scorpio. Um, this person is ready to move towards you, but it's like they got to tie up loose ends like a mug. <laughs> they got to tie up loose ends like it ain't nothing. Like, it's no, it's no other way around it. They got to tie up loose ends when it come down to the situation. So, yeah. That's that. They want you, but they in a situation where, you know, it's a process and it's going to take a lot of patience. This can take up to a year for some of y'all, even two, because when you think about 
what it takes for somebody to heal from something that is truly chaotic with this healing chaos here. You know, sometimes you're talking about a year. Sometimes you're talking about two years, you know. So, all right, guys, let's uh, let's try to get some type of timeline for some of you or some zodiac signs for some of you or just some messages as it pertains to an outcome in the situation. Spirit, let's get an outcome for Scorpio as it pertains to the situation with their love interest. Don't let your past hold you back. And we got South Node. So somebody here, okay, so that's what your person is doing. That's the reason why they coming up as the emperor in reverse because they basically showing up in their South Node. And it's saying that this person is supposed to be evolving into their North Node, which is probably where you are in their chart, you know? And it's like when you came into their life, that was supposed to be the breaking point of this relationship that they're trying to cling on to that they technically know is over with, you know? So, you know, this person is stuck in their south node when they meant to be graduating and moving into their nor north node don't uh be bold make the first move cart no moon okay so at this point this person doesn't have a choice but to make the first move because they've already somehow rejected you or moved away from you so they gotta be bold and make the first move if they want this to move forward, which is why action is there. They could see you moving forward or they can see that. They can start to see that you unbothered by it. Maybe they could tell in your energy before that you was bothered by their absence and they felt like secure, like, okay, they ain't moving on no time soon. And maybe now you evolving out of that energy and it's like you're ready to explore new options and you could even be announcing that. Like, it just depends on what you do on social media because, for some of you, you can vlog, blog, you know, maybe you post a lot. Maybe you the type of person that put all your business up there and let people know, hey, I'm single now. Hey, I'm on a prowl, ready to start dating, going on my first date tonight. Um, or you could even have changed your relationship status, uh, Scorpio, to where your ex sees it and they like, oh, heck no, nah. they, they, they off the market now. All right, so let's get a timeline for Scorpio and their person and the outcome. Communication is key, and obviously they have to communicate. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you guys aren't going to hear from this person until Gemini season, which is June. All right, so let's get more. Time to take a breath out. Disseminating moon. I never heard of that. I got to study that. Disseminating moon, but yes, okay. So if you've been obsessing about this person coming around, it's time for you to take a break away from thinking about it. Stop obsessing over the outcome. Um, take a breath out, you know, take a break away from it. I'm definitely going to look up, look it up and see what that that moon, this part of the moon phase is. But this looks like right after a full moon when a, uh, when a moon just starts to, you know, shrink down just a little bit. So this might be a couple days after the full moon, which just really passed. So maybe this, for some of you, is talking about the next time this moon, part of the moon phase comes. All right? All right. For some of you. So for some of you, they're coming back in a couple of weeks. And for others of you, they ain't not coming back until June. All right? Some of y'all, they stuck in a south node. And they allowing their ex to hold them back or their past to hold them back. Even if it's just a lifestyle, you know. Even if this person is just like a player or out in the streets or a dope boy or whatever. And it's like, in order to have a life with you, they can't be on that. You know, that could be something that some of them is holding on to. And they already know that. It's not, it's a given. Like, just being in your presence, they know they can't come with that type of energy. They can't be putting your life in danger or putting your energy in danger. Okay, so... Let's get a couple more messages for Scorpio as it pertains to the outcome or a timeline when it comes down to reconnecting with their person. Whew, these messages take it forever to come out today. Let's see. We're going to take this one. A win-win outcast is for 
a win-win outcast is forecast out come it's forecasted so for some of you you could be dealing with a libra i don't think y'all gonna be waiting all the way till libra season but for some of you it just depends it depends on what type of transformation or how long it takes this person to go through this transformation for you guys but i hope it's not all the way till libra season for you unless you guys aren't ready either all right but for some of you that you could just be dealing with a libra or somebody with libra in their chart here luck is on your side all right, guys, so, and this is Sagittarius. Your commitment is being tested. Prosperity lies ahead. All right, we getting Taurus with that energy. And then what else? Sagittarius. All right, hold your vision. So if you have been, you know, visualizing, being with this person for the rest of your life, having family, continue to do that. Continue to script. Continue to bring love into the situation. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, have Aquarius in your chart. And for some of you, you're going to get back with this person this season. All right. So, all right, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description where you can follow me online, as well as how to book a personal reading with your girl. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.